Hello guys, welcome to my guild house in ESO and I am today going to be talking about getting the Pillar of Nern set here uh, where are we looking? Here we go, so we can get these very easily uh, by just running the Falk Reef Hold Dungeon on normal and we can tick off our sticker book very quickly uh, by spamming through this and I'm going to show you how to run the dungeon and an another couple of things before you begin that you should know before you do this the reason is we're going to be running this on normal and we're just going to be trying to get each piece once and then when you want to come to build a pillar of Nern set there are a couple of traits that you're going to definitely want to take uh, for, for this so on the daggers if you're running daggers Nern honed any weapon Nern honed is going to be great and you're also going to want bloodthirsty and you're probably going to want divines as well so with that in mind with your traits that you want you're pretty much guaranteed <laughs> when you run the first few times to not get the perfect traits that you want it's not a problem though because what you're going to do is you, you're going to come to the crafting station here at your guild house or any old crafting place. Uh, go to the guild house here because you can see that um, it's obviously optimized so that everything is uh, very easy to do. And what we're going to do is say we want to, to go for um, the, the armor pieces and get divines on them. What we want to do is go to the, the clothing station here. And we need to go to research. And you can see I've already got it here. But if you haven't done research before, it's quite simple because this is not going to take very long to research this trait. And then once you've researched this, you can put this trait onto a piece of armor that has a trait that's not so good for what you need. Like it might have reinforced or pen impenetrable or whatever. If you want divines, you can put this trait on to that armor piece as long as you've researched it and the the way that you research is by taking a piece of armor that has got uh, the divines trait on already and you can break that apart to learn how to do it and you see here it's got some numbers next to these armor pieces that means that I have got pieces in my inventory that I can use to do some research so I've got divines on everything, of course, now. But what I'm going to do is just show you quickly. I've got four pieces on the gloves. Let's do that. And let's maybe try well fitted. So it says it's researchable here. Click on that and it will show me. No, I do not want to do that. <coughs> They're my, my uh, Swamp Raider boots. So we're going to try something else. The Zogbin's braces. No, thank you. I should really lock things because it wouldn't let me do that. I don't want to get rid of those. <laughs> Uh, and then literally you just have to click on the piece of armor that you want to use to research you can see there this piece of armor that I've got has re reinforced on so I can re research reinforce I'm going to do it because I need, I need to do it and then again I've, I've got to ha I can I can research three things at once here and it's important that um, if you want to do this quick you 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 learn how to do this as well I'll show you how to do three pieces at a time rather than one piece in a second First of all, I'm going to go for another research, and we're going to go well fitted here. Uh, helmet of Scavenge and Demise, or Reliquins. Uh, we'll go for the Helmet of Scavenge and Demise. And now I'm at three out of three here. And you can see it takes me five days here to do one of them. And then it's the, the last trait you learn in all of these, it takes 30 days. So that's why it's really good to get Divines first, because it only takes you some hours to do. <clears throat> right so anyway the way you are able to learn more than one uh, item at a time uh, you can only learn one trait at a time on a, a specific item but if you want to uh, study uh, multiple weapons or multiple pieces of armor in the same class then you can you go into crafting here and we need to find clothing because the it's a uh, each discipline in crafting is related to a certain workbench so for this workbench here I go under clothing and then where is it which one is it so 
it uh, allows the research of three items at once. So here we are stitching. So it's the second last, uh, second last ability in each one of these crafting disciplines. So here in dual crafting again, uh, reduces the research time by 20%. It won't let you do more than one at a time because you've only got amulet and ring, so that would be a bit overpowered. Woodworking, again, there's one called carpentry. Uh, another thing you should do as well is definitely uh, take the last skill in, in each of these because once we've got our gear, we're going to the jewelry is another story. It's very expensive to do that, so I wouldn't worry about doing that too soon. But you should take the last skill in each of these because when you come to upgrade your gear, it's going to be cheaper to do that. You're going to use Drew's wax and uh, the the lining stuff to to raise it from blue to purple uh, to to legendary, and you do that also here at the at the workbenches as well. So again, I'm uh, going to look at researching and Nern Honed. So the, the, the easiest thing to do if you, you do decide you want to research something is you go to Workbench, you look, if you haven't got the pieces, you can just go to a, a marketplace and buy them. Nern Honed, not going to lie, is expensive. People are not going to sell it for uh, less than 30k, 20k if you're lucky. But it is, it is a valuable investment to make. It is worth it is worth doing that alternatively you can go out and do the quest line in high aisles i think and 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 see if you can get a chance of, of finding a weapon that you want anyway but it's it's certainly quicker and well worth the money getting nern honed on on uh, from the auction house alternatively if if you're lucky and you're you're in a guild that's really nice you can ask someone uh, to make the item for you and give it to you or you buy it off them cheap or whatever they want but um, nonetheless even if they want you to pay for it it's better to give it to a guildy anyway right so get the Nern honed learned quickly also another one that's very good to learn is precise and sharpened as well as charged uh, charged is going to be really important for daggers so get get these learned get get your pieces bring them to the workbench get researching these things and then uh, the last one here is the jewellery. And then we got Bloodthirsty. Again, go and buy an amulet, go and buy a ring that's got Bloodthirsty on it. Or a, a guildie will absolutely make this for you for free. Because the Bloodthirsty, uh, uh, the, the reagent for the Bloodthirsty is actually not that expensive at all. I'm pretty sure uh, someone will do that for, for you, no problem, if you're in a good guild. Anyway, once you've done that, and you've got your researches... Your, your, your traits research come to the the transmute station there's one in clockwork city if you're not in a guild but if you have a guild they'll probably have it lying about just like this transmute station to use the transmute station you're going to be spending these stones that i've got next to none of at the minute transmute crystals they're called and you get these most effectively from running daily dungeons and from the reward pack inside those you will get the transmute crystals so each time you want to put a trait on something uh, we're going to have a look here we're just going to put beekeepers mall in there for the sake of it uh, i'm going to click the trait i want or whatever click learn honed uh, i haven't learned it on the mall doesn't matter but you could see it costs 50 here 50 crystals i do not have the trait learn i do not have 50 crystals so i cannot do it if I wanted to do an axe, I could put precise on it. I've already learned that. You can see it's it's come up in in uh, white writing rather than sort of dull writing there. Again, I haven't got the crystal, so I can't actually do it. Uh, and then you can see what the item looks like on the left hand side. It's got this like a uh, uh, whirlpool symbol, and that means that it's been transmuted already uh, with the trait you want. So I can put precise on this if I want. And I can. I can put training on it if I want. I can put sharpened on it if I want. But uh, there you go. That's how you do that. And then you just transmute the, the the trait you want on the weapon. So a very handy tool because if you get a piece of armor drop that you that that hasn't got the trait on, you can you can just put it on here. Uh, it costs you it costs you only 50 crystals and and it's it's not hard to get them really. It really isn't. 
Uh, so there's another tab here called reconstruct and if I type in pillar no if I spell it right pillar here you can see DLC dungeons fork reef hold and it shows me all of the, the items that I have already collected in the sticker book and there's only three that I haven't got and the reason I haven't got those is simply because I, I'm done with this I've got the daggers I've got the the, the bow I, I, I actually haven't farmed this to complete the sticker book and you can see here that it it costs if I want to recreate any of these I can come here and do that using the transmute station it's amazing and it costs me 32 crystals a time if I had the sticker book collected I believe it would cost 25 a time so if I've got everything I need then I want a second ring for example or a second dagger that's more likely to be what I need if I've already got one dagger great I do not need to keep farming that dungeon with a really slim chance of getting the dagger don't do that it will not happen don't pay someone 500,000 gold 200,000 gold whatever for a guarantee guaranteed drop of it they can give it to you uh, at the end of the dungeon they can fudge their sticker book so they will always get the, the they'll always get the uh, the dagger drop at the end uh, but uh, you don't want to do that it's not uh, that's this is the dagger I've been hovering over the sword you don't you don't need to do that you can quite simply once you've filled out your sticker book uh, somewhat and it's cheap enough to it to, to make a, another one you can just come here double click on the item you want I don't have the stones again but if I did I can choose the trait I want to put on it again make sure you have your nern honed or your sharpened or or your charged research before you do this because it's waste of waste of crystals otherwise come here select the trait at the top and then we're going to select our uh, our gear quality as well we can go all the way up to the top it's, it's it, this scales with your um, your crafting proficiency that I showed you earlier so you can make it a legendary if you want to it's all that stuff reconstruct it there you've got a second dagger it is so much quicker to do this for your second dagger or your second ring than just keep running the dungeon more than you need to complete your sticker book uh, as much as you want to uh, once you've got uh, the, the pieces that you have if it's cheap enough to, to make the, uh, the the rest of the stuff that you need then then you're done that's it simple so that's pretty much all all there is to know about about that uh, really really important uh, that you do that uh, back uh, background work there before you you start farming the dungeon or at least before you start uh, trying to uh, get your gear together but it's it's very quick if you haven't done uh, the researching before then uh, if you have done research you know all about it you'll have the divines and whatever anyway so so uh, uh, good for you there uh, but if you haven't get the divines learn on that medium or light armor uh, medium armor in this case because for because uh, the because the pillar of known stuff is medium unless you go for the weapons and the jewelry and you want to go for a light piece elsewhere but we're just talking about the five, five getting a five piece on this uh on this set so yeah uh, that's that's all there is to that so we're going to go go into the dungeon now i'm probably going to use my healer just because it's going to be a bit chill and i'm going to be lazy with the rotation and stuff like that while i'm explaining what to do but it's a very simple dungeon um maybe i'll maybe i'll die uh, or whatever and just carry on talking through it or whatever it doesn't matter it's, it's very simple three people can do it very easily that are not very well geared to be honest and it's also soloable like if you've got really good stuff but uh if you're trying to get your sticker book filled out then that's probably not an option so just just go um to just just sign up using the dungeon finder and, and then you'll get some buddies join you that will, will go with you you could be, or if you're going to take some friends then uh, of course i'm going to go through the tactics anyway with this and if you want to just spawn over there if you were going to solo it then uh, you can find it in craglawn here full grief hold so this continent right here in the middle craggle on so yeah that's it so we're gonna go to the dungeon now so I'll see you over there right so we are just heading into the dungeon now I'm gonna take my healer just so 
I can concentrate on talking about some tactics and uh, so it doesn't make the, the group go too far so I can't explain it very well. To start here we're just going to run and we're going to jump over this hill to get to the first boss. There's some trash that we're just going to avoid so it's just a it's just the thing that most groups will do. Hug this left wall here to... Uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way. Did I pull something? Yes, I did. Never mind. It's not a big deal if you do that. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the route that you should take and the route you shouldn't. So here we're at the first boss. Uh, we will be trying to get down these minotaurs as quick as possible. Because they can do a lot of damage and this is normal. Uh, so you can see the boss there, that was the boss. She died incredibly quickly. You can see we've got Pillar of Nern boots there. We're going to get the Pillar of Nern uh, armor pieces basically from all of the first few bosses and then the, the weapon and the jewelry of the last boss. This is the second boss. It's very simple. Uh, these arrow guys will uh, start hitting people, avoid this AOE on the floor. Uh, nothing too special about it, just to do damage to the... Oh, tanks take a lot of damage. Is he a tank? I don't know. Maybe he isn't. So yeah, if you DPS, you can put a shield on just to, to negate that arrow damage because it is a bit annoying. But you can see it die very quickly there, and we've got the shoulders of pillar of a pillar of known shoulders there as well. Let me just uh, the next boss. So we've already got two pillar of known pieces right there. The next boss, everyone is going to run to. We have to run through this village and avoid the meteors there. They can actually kill you quite easily, and the mobs just run through keep yourself alive and dodge where you need to uh, if you die actually it's not a big deal because if, unless someone has started the boss then you can just uh, resurrect very easily and if they start the boss you'll just get you'll get spawned into the encounter anyway yeah uh, so not not really a big deal so they, they got to the boss Hopefully I'll get a res. But they're dealing with the trash here. Uh, there's two options once you get to the boss. You can either choose to wipe so that you can drop all the trash. Or, oh, he's gone out of the circle. Uh, okay, so this, this boss here, you can see one of the one of our, my buddies did died because he went out of the circle of the, the boss fight. You have to stay in it, otherwise you take loads of damage. You die very quickly. I think this guy's killing himself on purpose so that we can wipe. There we go, we're doing the... We're doing the wipe tactic there. Right. So now, it makes it a little easier, actually, because um, if you do this, you could just go to these stairs. You won't pull if you stay on the stairs. Uh, but they, they decide to pull straight away. So we've got, we've got an ad phase and a boss phase. Uh, so the ads, once you get them down, go over to them uh, when they're dead. And, and then you'll, you'll pick up their soul. And then you have to run it to one of these three shrines around the outside. There's three shrines and there's three adds. So each one you can take to a shrine. It doesn't matter which, but once you've used a shrine, you can't use it a second time for, for that phase. Uh, once once the soul's been taken... Uh, someone picked up the soul there, I think, and didn't run it, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but now the boss is up, you see, once you've done all three adds. Yeah, if you don't get an add up, it just it just comes back to life again. You just have to do it a second time. Uh, on this fight, you can see this mechanic here with the meteors. The boss will do. If you're DPS, you can shield yourself. You can you can preemptively block that damage effectively. You can't you can't roll for it or anything, but you can just shield it. You can see it coming a mile off. So here, this is uh, the second phase. That's uh, so, the first phase. Work the add phase, if you like again and the, the DPS handled that quite nicely they killed them quickly and got to the shrines and it, it, you've got to be careful there because the boss can knock you back and if he knocks you back and you go out the circle you will die I've had it happen to me a bunch of times I see it happen quite regularly uh, the next boss now we're going to go to we're just going to run through this trash and 
jump down to the boss <coughs> and to activate it we'll need to pick up a, an urn and cleanse a couple of spirits and then he, he'll notice you've done that oh I got it before me but yes yeah, this urn here once you've cleansed these spirits it's actually a mechanic in the fight, but we're not going to need to worry about this on normal because it's such a it's such a quick. I think this guy is using the ring of the pale order because I can't heal him. Not a problem. This is a it's, it's so easy. But I'm just not even doing damage and see how quick it went down. Got a good group. Got a, another pillar of nern set of boots there. But if, if you haven't done this before, you won't get two two of the same thing. You're always uh, as long as you as long as you bind stuff as you go, and you should do that. When when you get a piece of armor drop, a pillar of the Nern, as soon as you get it drop, go into your inventory, right click it, and and bind it to you because that way you'll uh, make sure that you don't get a duplicate that run. If you need to clear your sticker book, that's what you should be doing as you go through the, the dungeon on your first or your first couple of runs at least. Once you've done this a couple of times, you, you, you'll probably have all the armor pieces very quickly anyway. Right, so here we're going to skip those minotaurs to get to the last boss. Jump up this ledge here. Go through this door and enter the fight. Someone's something but they'll get they'll get teleported in if they have problems getting through here this is a two-phase fight uh, just DPS it we're on the main boss phase and uh, there is a, another thing I'll show you in a minute but this is the second phase now he's coming noon and you have to just kill these ads is uh, very simple and they die very quickly even without me doing anything uh, they fire around the side here that you have to uh, avoid and there'll be fire pillar of Nern spawning here as well just avoid those and then we're going to go second phase oh he died too quickly never mind he also does uh, I'll explain just quickly he does a tactic where he puts his fists together and uh, like charges up and you've got about three seconds to react when he does that you have to hide behind a pillar here and he'll he'll blow the whole room apart and he it, he will he'll destroy the pillar you're hiding behind uh, but you'll probably find you only do that once in normal uh, so yeah, that's it. That's the that's the the dungeon there, and we we got a weapon, but it wasn't a pillar of Nern weapon. The, the last boss is the main one that's going to help us tick us tick off the weapons on the sticker book the quickest. But yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe if you got anything out of this. Thank you very much. Goodbye.